Greetings, Reggie Middleton here. This is an impromptu update on our circle analysis. So first of all, full disclaimer, uh, I own the Veritasium group of companies and one of the companies, Veritasium Capital, has brought suit against Circle uh, for patent infringement, infringement of the 566 patent in the US, uh, colloquially known as the DeFi patent. I'm gonna put a screenshot of the allegations um, of what was of allegations of infringing activities and you'll see it is easily the vast majority of Circle's business and revenues. Okay, that's a big issue and Veritasium Capital would not bring suit if Veritasium Capital didn't think they had a very, very strong case. Um, so, screenshot that list, go back to it. Okay, that's probably the biggest issue in this video and that's not what the video is about. Um, Another note is none of the crypto media has uh, reported this, and so none of the big crypto media concerns, which is extremely interesting because that staple coins are the lifeblood of crypto, okay? And they report much, much more menial and insignificant things relative to uh, the circle suit. Now, going forward, I've anal analyzed circle cursorily and uh, USDC, and I found them wanting. I'm not a big believer of stable coins as they are put together. I think they have a perverse incentive and quite a few other issues. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna show that in this current interest rate environment, if it continues as it has, Circle would not be able to pay back uh, the holders of USDC on a run -up, during a run on a bank. All we need is for interest rates to go up and they don't have to go up a lot relative to how much they've been going up, okay? Rates have been up from January 1st till now over 8,300%. The three-year treasury went from five basis points to about 4.69%. That's a lot. And anybody who knows fixed income and finance, when interest rates go up, the value of the, uh, the price of the fixed income security yielding the interest goes down. It's an inverse relationship. So interest rates spike up, the treasuries go down, if the circle has to sell those treasuries before maturity, they don't get the benefit from the full interest, and there's a shortfall. Now, will interest rates go up? Well, so far they've been up 8,300%, and the past is not a predictor of future performance, but it does certainly clue one in, doesn't it? The Fed has made it very clear they, continue, they will continue to push interest rates up. Now, I feel they're going to have to cry uncle sometime this year, probably the third or fourth quarter, but until then, and at the same time, real rates are deeply negative, more negative now than they were when nominal rates were close to zero. So look at the analysis. I'm gonna put it right here in front of me and see where Circle will not be able to pay back USDC um, token holders with the upgoing, with the increase in rates. Now they do have a cushion. That cushion will be eaten up with a significant rate increase. And this time tomorrow, tune back in because I'm gonna show throughout the rest of the year, throughout the rest of last year, you'll see where there was a situation on more than one month where Circle likely, I haven't done analysis yet, I'm taking an educated guess, find out tomorrow if that's the case, likely would not have been able to pay back the USDC holders without adding additional internal funding to that pot or getting outside funding, of which who knows if Circle has it, okay? Realize this is not on CoinDesk either. So, when you need real analysis, you know who to come to.